Of course, millions of people will personally go to their polling place on Tuesday. Sometimes that's just a short walk from home. But what if you can't walk or drive there? There are companies and groups stepping up to make sure everyone who wants to vote can. Catherine Merck explains. We're really hoping people are going to be able to come out to the polls. An election? That's just around the corner. It's the chance to lift up everyone's voice. We're a worker-owned cooperative, and as such, we believe in democracy. That's why Union Cab of Madison is ready to give you a lift, too. Union is trying to make it so that there are as few barriers as possible to be able to exercise that right. One factor that can keep people from casting their ballot is making sure that they're actually able to get there. 31% of Wisconsinites are non-drivers, according to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Some of those people People have family, friends, or neighbors who can drive them to the polls, but Disability Rights of Wisconsin knows many don't. It's very um, disturbing when someone is not able to participate in our democracy and exercise that basic civil right because they can't get accessible transportation. This coming Tuesday, Union Cab and many others are offering free rides to the polls, making it possible to focus less on how you're going to get there and more on who you're going to choose. We want people to get involved and we want to hear people's voices and make the right decisions that way. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. Well, it's a great service and we have a list of places offering free rides to the polls. You can find it at channel3000.com.